Hey, I'm Andrew Connell. This video is an overview of one of the chapters in my course, Mastering the SharePoint Framework, that's available for uh, purchase on my site, Voitanos.io. This overview video is gonna give you an idea of everything that the chapter uh, covers. You can learn more by checking out the description uh, in the notes below the video. Um, if you got any questions about this chapter or about the course in general, just make sure you drop a comment uh, below in, in the uh, below the video and I'll be sure to get back to you. So with that, let me get out of the way. Enjoy the overview to this chapter. Hey, it's me again. Welcome to the chapter on leveraging external files and libraries in your SharePoint framework solutions. Modern applications are rarely built within a silo, and developers commonly leverage external libraries and frameworks within web applications. Client-side applications present interesting challenges as you must consider how they're gonna be referenced, if they're gonna be included, and the impact they're gonna have on the page size. This chapter will address leveraging external JavaScript and CSS libraries in SharePoint framework projects. I'll start by taking an existing SharePoint framework client-side web part project and changing it to display a pre-built AngularJS web application. This Angular application leverages a few external libraries, such as the AngularJS library, which is Angular.1, and the community-supported ng-office UI Fabric library. This latter library, which happens to be one that I'm involved in, is a collection of Angular directives that implement the Office UI Fabric controls. As such, it also requires the Office UI Fabric core CSS files. Once we get this web part working, we'll peel back the covers and see that there is more to this puzzle. I'll show you that while it works, we have really created a monster, or a pig, however you want to look at it. What do I mean by a monster? I mean we have just put all of these external dependencies in a single file, and this is called bundling, and I'll explain how it happens, how you control it, and when it makes sense to do it or not. Bundling and leveraging external files in web apps is nothing new, but in the SharePoint framework, we add a little bit of extra layer of complication to it because we don't own the entire experience. We only own a single component on the page. So we need to learn how to deal with it within the framework. This lesson will explain and explore the different options for bundling and referencing external files and how to deal with both CSS files as well as different types of JavaScript libraries. Ready? Let's get started. 